Unfortunately, there wasn't much time to celebrate that win over Lowerbreck as Vauxhall are back in action just 53 hours later here at the Barton Stadium, the home of Winsford United. Our coverage tonight is sponsored by Baltic Apprenticeships. This is a rearranged fixture as the original game scheduled for the 14th of January was postponed on the day due to a stadium-wide electrical failure. Since that postponement, Winsford have managed to crawl their way up the Premier Division table and now sit 15th. Crucially, with an 11 point gap between them and Bursko who sit in the drop zone. And United post boast a striker in Daniel Bowden who scored five in his last seven games. Bowden was influential in the reverse fixture, a game which is remembered for an epic comeback from Vauxhall that was capped off by Michael Berkey who scored a 96th minute wonder goal to win the game. So hopefully tonight, the same level of enjoyment, but with the right result for Vauxhall. Vauxhall Motors just got back to winning ways last time out, just two days ago, and a 6-1 demolition of Lower Breath. And they weren't the only side the past weekend to clock up a seven-goal game. Strange that it's happened in back-to-back -back days. And the Motors are looking to re-establish some momentum after a sketchy February, but a good start to March with that win against Lower Breath. This game was rearranged after the postponement on the 14th of January due to a stadium-wide electrical failure. But we're here at Barton Stadium, home of Winsford United. Let's run through the teams and we'll start with the Motors. In goal, Kieran O'Loughlin. Number two, Ethan Goldborn and his full-back partners, Greg Drummond. And in the centre half, it's Marcus James and James McCullough. Ben Holmes retains the captaincy for today. And he's alongside Hayden Cooper in the midfield and flanking Lewis Buckley up front. It's Jake Parker, Michael Berkey and Bobby McDonnell providing support. Sub for the Motors, 12, Tom Mitchell, 14, Connor Harwood who returns to the squad, 15, Jordan Beer, 16, Sean Muscroft and 17, Ben Dufton Kelly. For the host, Winsford United, in goal, Aaron Lyons, two, Matthew Coughlin, three, Richard Peters, four, Elliot Booth, Dylan McMahon, number five, six, Samuel Keenan, seven, Daniel Bowden, who boasts five goals in the last seven games for Winsford, eight, and captain, Jack Hart, nine, Nathan Cottrell, ten, David Short, and eleven, Gabriel Mooney Munioth. Rather an exotic name for this part of the world. And their subs, 12, Kevin Excel, 14, Benjamin Chesters, 15, Stephen Jennings, 16, Ahmed Ibrahim, and 7, Luke Duckworth. Alongside me, back together, Reese Scaven and Reese. we've seen quite a lot of goals in various games over the weekend, and we'll be hoping for more of the same on this chilly Monday night. Pleasure, pleasure to be back, Patrick. Pleasure yes, to have you. Certainly not been a bad weekend um, for myself, but... You know, Saturday's performance for Vauxhall won't mean anything. We don't back it up with another three points tonight. So as mentioned, this game was rearranged from the 14th of January and I think Vauxhall would have preferred to have played that game that day. We were banging form and Winsford were struggling at the time. Winsford have picked up a little bit since. And Moses have struggled as we've mentioned in the month of February. Tricky feet from Mooney Munoz. Gives it to Bowden. Cuts inside his left foot, puts, gets the shot away. Not dealt with initially by O'Loughlin, but had plenty of time to gather it up with Bowden charging towards it. First shot at goal in this match. Winsford started the better side, probably so far. They've been very sharp on the ball and certainly not looked like a team that was in the Isle of Man at the weekend. <laughs> It's over the top for Parker. Oh, and he, he, he goes for the shot and it bobbles and he shanks it. Welcome to Winsford. <laughs> oh. Winsford's best defender there was the pitch. It was a great ball over the top and maybe he might have got the shot away earlier. 
good burst of pace as well. He seemed to get away from the defender quite quick and then as he looked to set up for the shot, it's like a lovely bobble. I think that's the first time the Windsor back line's been breached too. Yeah. He's defended well so far, but on that occasion, a bit lax. Dunham finds Parker. He gets it to McDonald. Plays a beautiful ball to Drummond. He goes for the shot and tell you what, the shot didn't look on, but yeah, power towards goal. Ultimately in the side netting, but it's a decent effort from Drummond. Bross comes in, there's a header from McDonald, doesn't get enough on it, Berkey cuts aside. Oh, oh the shot's blocked. Save. Heroic block. Now Winston looks to break away. That's an unbelievable chance for him. Oh, it was a heroic block at the back post. Good sign of an early intent. In the second half from Vauxhall. Pressure from Winsford. Clearance a shank by Goldborn. McCulloch doesn't head it away. Gets the shot away. It was bowed and in the end it was wide, but lots of chances to clear with Oxwell. Plenty of indecision. Several defensive mistakes there leading to that chance for Winsford. Then Motors come off flat in the second half so far, not created an awful lot. Winsford certainly looking better than their 15th place. Tonight. Motors looking certainly better than their second place. <laughs> Holmes with the corner. It's a deep one to the back post. It's flicked on by James. It's pressure on the keeper. It's not dealt with. Oh, it's over. Harwood. Connor Harwood can't keep his head down. Might be a break on for Winsford. It's a two on one. And he's slotted away, it's Daniel Bowden. Boxall left with a two on one at the back. And Daniel Bowden slots it home. Get in there! It was a good break for Winsford, a great finish from Bowden. But questions have to be asked about where the Vauxhall defensive line went. Seemed too easy for Winston Reese. Yeah, far too easy. Far too easy. Just McCulloch by himself, outpaced, and then squares the ball, and it was lovely finish. Left out Lachlan with no chance, but poor defending from Vauxhall, and I think they'd be disappointed with that one, and it's now a mountain to climb. So, with that breakaway goal, it's Winston 1. Vauxhall nil. Harwood oh, puts McDonald down the left. Got one defender to be gets a shot away, but can't keep it down on his left foot. <laughs> Pretty much sums up the night. Jordan Deer sent off for that challenge. Vauxhall's night goes from bad to worse. Four hours after Tom was done. So, disappointing end to tonight's game at the Barton Stadium. Lackluster performance on the motors. And the second half goal from Daniel Bowden's the difference. Finishes Winsford United 1, Vauxhall Motors 0.